Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between Eternal Naturally Alkaline Spring Water and Icelandic Glacial Water. These are both very unique bottles. Obviously there's a size difference. Uh, the Icelandic bottle is a lot smaller, but these are unique bottles. The Eternal bottle is unique because you have to look through the bottle itself to see the label. The, you know, the label is one sticker but it's got different information on each side so that's unique I've never seen that before and the bottle itself is sort of like like a, like a bottle of wine sort of and it's got like uh, flowers engraved on the side or whatever these are supposed to be now the Icelandic bottle itself um, it's supposed to have like a, a glacier on the top I think and it's unique because it's not symmetrical which is uh, it's unique for a bottle of water. It's it's a different shape from each side that you look at it. So the Icelandic bottle is supposed to be from Iceland and um, says it has a pH level I think of 8.4 and it says it's completely carbon neutral and it's supposed to be one of the first bottled waters to be carbon neutral the eternal bottle says it's naturally alkaline it's uh, naturally got electrolytes and it's got a neutral pH level of 7.8 through 8.2 and so this has a lot of negative reviews online for this this one uh, apparently this used to be bottled in New Zealand but they switched to a bottling factory uh, in the United States. And even on the back of the bottle, it says it is bottled in Springbrook Springs, New York. So it's not from New Zealand anymore. And so I think because they switched to bottling in the United States, that's why this bottle has a lot of negative reviews online. But let's taste them and see which one's better. The lids are very similar. And um, I should point out the price. These, these are both from a local grocery store, Giant Eagle. This big bottle was $2.39. This little bottle was $1.39. So the big bottle costs more, but it costs less per drop of water. So. Yeah, that tastes just like tap water, really. Um, and sort of like a little bit dirty too. It's um, it's not that great. I have to agree with some of the reviews I read online. Um, it doesn't taste. It doesn't taste that great. Um, it tastes. It tastes like it went through a chemical processing factory, like a, like a water processing plant. And then it, it tastes like it flew. Like the water flowed through several miles of. Um, like plastic PVC pipes before it went in the bottle. It's kind of got like a plasticky taste. Yeah, this one's definitely better. Um, normally I wait till the end of the video to say which one's better, but the Icelandic bottle is um, it's definitely better. And um, I've noticed this in other videos, but these are both stored in the same in the same place. For some reason, the Icelandic one tastes colder. It just it feels colder going down. Um, 
I don't, I don't understand why. They were both stored right next to each other for several, several days in the same place, but Icelandic tastes colder. Yeah. Um, so, Icelandic is moving on to the next round of reviews. Icelandic is the winner between these two. Yep, that was that was an easy easy review. This is the clear winner. So good job, Icelandic. You're the winner.